the thing that strikes me the most about the difference between my life 10 years ago when I was drinking and now is when I was drinking it was a one step forwards, two steps back. No matter what I was trying to do, I put lots of effort into something, but it would be dragged back almost straight away because of the drinking, because of everything else that I was doing. So it is what it is. You know, there's a gun to the head mentality. You know, the no bullshit, what would it take approach to stop and drinking? If somebody held a gun to your head, would you stop drinking alcohol? Of course you would, but you know, how long does that last? They're going to walk around with you holding that gun to your head, take that away, and the motivation then is going to disappear. Maybe if they say to you, I'll take the gun away, but if you start drinking again, I'm going to come back and there'll be no questions asked. Maybe that's a motivation to, to keep you going. But nobody's going to do that. What's the equivalent? The equivalent is going to your doctor and your doctor says, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have cirrhosis of the liver and there's nothing we can do about it. You have to stop drinking now, otherwise you're gonna lose your liver and without your liver, you lose your life. So that's a, a motivation that you can't step back from. But most people are not gonna wait until that. Hopefully, you know, you don't wait until you've got some bad news or you don't wait until your partner says, look, I'm just totally sick and tired of this life now and I'm not doing it anymore, I'm leaving. Or you're going to work and even without them saying it, you lose your job because of the alcohol. You know, there are three and a half million people every year lose their lives through alcohol. And I reckon that that's the tip of the iceberg. I reckon there's far many more people who lose their lives. There's far many more people who lose their jobs. There's far many more people who end up in hospital without it actually being stated that they're in hospital because of alcohol they're losing the jobs because of alcohol you know so it's something worthwhile saying is when your life is revolving around alcohol and your time and energy are being put into alcohol and you know um, overcoming alcohol you can't put that same uh, amount of time and energy into other things in your life so the other parts of your life are going to suffer the things that you could have done are not being done um, the the parts of your life that you could have been using to grow are not being used to grow. That's why I always say when when I go back and the, the thing that strikes me the most about the difference between my life 10 years ago when I was drinking and now is when I was drinking it was a one step forwards, two steps back. No matter what I was trying to do, I put lots of effort into something but it would be dragged back almost straight away because of the drinking because of everything else that I was doing. So it is what it is. Afterwards, it's like one step forward, another step forward, it's slow progress. You're making progress slowly. You're making decisions based on, you know, you, you have to get outside of that drinker's mind first and foremost. But once you do that, then everything else is, uh, is good. You, you're making progress. So yeah, just think about it from that perspective. What would it take? You know, what's if you haven't made that decision yet, what, what would it take for you to make that decision? Take care. Almost enough words.